started with a robbery at a vape store and ended with Aurora police shooting and killing a teenager tonight. Police arrested two more teenagers and they're looking for other suspects that police say took off in a stolen car. This all went down this afternoon, a strip of businesses off Dayton and 8th, just across the street from Lowry Park and Community College of Aurora. That's where 9 News reporter Jennifer Meckles is tonight for an update. Hi there, Kyle. Aurora police tell us that a sergeant with their gang unit was actually just driving along Dayton earlier this afternoon when he noticed a bunch of teenagers in a parking lot that had on hoodies and masks, and he felt like that seemed a little weird considering the weather. So he called in some backup from his team to just come and check it out. Meanwhile, he turned around, made a U-turn, and is driving down an alley, and in that alley he spotted a Kia minivan, ran the plates, and figured out that that Kia was stolen. So all that is kind of the context for why police have now arrived on this scene. They learned that the group of teenage boys had just robbed a business in this strip mall, taking a ton of vaping products. APD says the kids then scattered some of them in the stolen Kia. They took off some of them on foot. Officers found one of the kids in the alley behind the business. The same kid, police say, who threatened the store clerk with a gun during the robbery. Police say one of the two of the officers chased that kid, repeatedly ordered him to drop the gun. And this is where it gets a little fuzzy on details. The kid ends up on the ground in a struggle with an officer and the officer shoots him. Aurora police tell us that they gave the kid CPR and seen paramedics took him to the hospital, but that teenager died at the hospital. There were two other teenage boys arrested nearby. So that's three kids now we're talking about. And tonight police are still looking for that stolen Kia and the other suspects. AT, APD interim chief Art Acevedo called this a tragedy for both the family of the teenager and the officer who fired his weapon. Again, we we watch the body worn camera video and your heart goes out to the family of that deceased young man, but my heart also goes out to the officer that's going to have to deal with and process taking a life. Chief says that officer joined APD back in 2017 and joined the gang intervention unit in 2019. The protocol now, he's on administrative leave. Aurora is going to run an internal affairs investigation. And of course, the critical incident response team that reviews these kinds of shootings will also get involved with this one. One last note is Chief Acevedo really expressed a lot of frustration tonight around stolen cars. Again, they have a stolen car they're still looking for in this scenario. And he is promising that within the next week, the department's going to put out new policy on pursuing stolen cars, promising to be more aggressive. He says a lot of times these are connected to violent crimes, as he described this today. Yeah, so often seems that they're linked to other kinds of violence in our community. All right, Jenny Meckles, thank you. Colorado first in Aurora police shot a teenager after an armed robbery that teenager later died. Yeah, officers say they spotted a group of teens wearing masks and hoodies at the time. Our Justin Adams explains how this is an area that's used to seeing this type of violence. Aurora police are still looking for several teenage suspects. Officers say were involved in an armed robbery Thursday afternoon. Aurora police say it started then when a group of five to seven teenagers robbed a convenience store and stole vape pens. They say one officer saw the group wearing masks and hoodies near 8th Avenue and North Dayton Street. According to police, the officer called for backup and found a stolen dark Kia minivan in the alley. As the van started to leave, the officer began following them as other gang unit officers arrived. They chased one of the teens, an officer said that had a gun. As he was running, the teen fell to the ground and began struggling with officers. Police say after refusing orders, the teen was shot. We talked with one parent who says this is the latest example of rising youth violence in their neighborhood. I really don't know what it's going to take. It just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. You know, we need more adults, us, my age tending to these kids. They lost. Two of the other suspects, they were arrested and the rest left the seed in that stolen minivan. And officers are still looking for them as we speak. In Aurora, Justin Adams, covering Colorado First. Um, not only that, if we are going to go back to the old way that Aurora police is going to be policing, I'm going to be watching each and every one of your fucking officers, and I'm going to hold them accountable.